there are many potential interactions that fungal species can have with animals. Many fungi are saprobic. They are decomposers which excrete enzymes outside of their cells to digest the material that they are in. This allows them to decompose dead animal material. This decomposition will then liberate the nutrients from the dead material so that it can enter food chains and food cycles once again. Because the hyphae of fungi can excrete the enzymes which digest animal tissues, they are also capable of causing disease in animals. For example, the white nose syndrome, which is spreading among North American bats, has killed millions of bats. Among other causes, as the fungus spreads through the skin, the bats leave the areas where they are hibernating early and during the day and then become so emaciated because they are using their energy reserves that they starve. The fungus which causes chytridiomycosis is decimating frog populations throughout the world. It may even be implicated in the extinction of some species. The greatest health effects that fungi have on humans may be the effects of fungal spores on allergy and asthma rates which are increasing. The reaction of the human body to these spores includes the inflammatory responses which aggravate allergy and asthma. While there are cases of diseases in humans caused by fungi and life-threatening cases, most fungal human interactions are minor, such as athlete's foot and easily treated. There are examples of opportunistic infections where the fungi take hold when the individual's immune defenses are somehow compromised. And so yeast infections of the mouth, known as thrush, can occur in infants, but also in patients with HIV who are immunocompromised. While yeast are a normal element in the microflora of the vagina, they can cause an infection after a woman takes an antibiotic, which kills the bacteria of the vagina whose acids were keeping the yeast populations under control. Fungi can form symbiotic relationships with animals. For example, the fungi of the group Neocalymystigomycota can digest cellulose and lignin in anaerobic environments. They can be found in the digestive tracts of a number of animals, primarily ruminant mammals, but also non-ruminants and even reptiles, where they break down plant material and make their nutrients available for their host. There are even examples of fungi being predators, which can prey on small animals, such as the microscopic roundworms and rotifers. The enzymes released by hyphae can break their tissues down, and some can even anesthetize their animal prey, such as a roundworm which attacks a fungus while these hyphae extend into its body. There are fungi which produce round traps. When a roundworm enters, it inflates and traps the roundworm, allowing the hyphae then to digest their prey. Fungi are clearly important for humans as well as a source of food. Humans can eat mushrooms. Yeasts are used in the manufacture of breads, cakes, and alcoholic beverages. And other fungi are used in food production, such as the production of soy sauce. 